topic. What is impulse? In this lesson, we will learn about the relationship between impulse and momentum and how to calculate impulse through a variety of examples. Let's begin with a question. How is momentum related to impulse? When a force acts on an object for a short amount of time, impulse is the measure of how much the force changes the momentum of an object. The formula for impulse looks like this. Impulse is equal to force multiplied by small time. Or in symbols, impulse is equal to F times delta T. Thus, impulse is the measure on how much the momentum changes as a result of a force acting on it for a period of time. In an alternative formula for impulse, it looks like this. Impulse is equal to change in momentum. That's it, delta P vector. This formula relates impulse to the changes in the momentum of the object. Impulse has two different units, either kilogram times meter per second or newton times second. Let's take a look at a few examples. In this example, we will look at the impulse for an object that collides with a wall and stops after the collision. If the 2.0 kilogram object travels with a velocity of 10 meter per second before it hits the wall, then the impulse can be calculated using the formula. Impulse is equal to change in momentum. In this example, we will look at the impulse for an object that collides with a wall and bounces back after the collision. If the 2.0 kilogram object travels with a velocity of 10 meter per second before it hits the wall and a velocity of 10 meter per second after the collision, then the impulse can be calculated using the formula. Impulse is equal to change in momentum. In this example, we will calculate impulse a different way. What is the impulse caused by an average force of 10 newtons if it acts on a ball for 2.0 seconds? The impulse here can be calculated as Impulse is equal to force multiplied by small time Or in a symbol Impulse is equal to force times delta T Let's try this question Thank you.